Hello everyone. Today's video is going to be about a topic that we are all aware of, something that we have all experienced, something that is being studied extensively but still remain a mystery, dreaming. This video is the first video of a series of video about dreaming. In this video, I'll be covering many aspects of this fascinating topic of sleep and dreaming. experience dreaming. The experience is not a mystery by itself, but why do certain dreams occur? Why are we exposed to dreams? Even though researchers haven't been fully able to solve the mysteries, this video is an attempt to make you aware of the concept of dreaming and also certain experiences that people have that you may not be aware of. First of all, what is a dream? It is something people experience universally while they sleep. They are images or stories that our mind creates when we are fast asleep. This can be entertaining, fun or even a frightening experience. Dreams are not limited to just visual images, therefore blind people dream too. Their dreams are more of other types of sensory experiences. Every person is believed to dream around two to three times a day, which you may not remember when you wake up. Even if you do, you might have forgotten 90% of the dream by the time you get out of your bed. The average duration of a dream is around 5 to 20 minutes. So why do dreams occur? We usually start dreaming after being asleep for 1 to 2 hours. This dreaming mostly occurs during the REM sleep. REM stands for rapid eye movement and during the rapid eye movement sleep, your eyes will be moving rapidly to different directions. This is the last stage of sleep and it lasts for about 90 minutes. I will be covering the stages of sleep in a different video. But for now, let's move on. Our brain paralyzes our muscles while we are sleeping and that is why you do not act out your dreams in the real world. One of the first theorists to be fascinated about the concept of dreaming was Sigmund Freud. According to him, dreams were the manifestation of one's deepest desires and anxieties. Later on, several researchers worked on it and came up with explanations like Preparing for future threats, processing the information gathered during the day, helping improve the cognitive capabilities. A kind of space that is brought by the dream ego to process information that would be unsettling when we are awake, thus maintaining a psychological equilibrium. It is also believed that dreaming can help you improve your ability to learn and also your long-term memory. Since dreams are something people experience universally, there are also themes that are found to be extremely common among different people from all over the world. A few of these themes include being late for an appointment, failing in an exam, falling from a great height, losing all your teeth, etc. It is believed that there are around 55 common themes in dreams. Now let us look at some of the other aspects of dreaming about which you may or may not be aware of. Nightmares We all have experienced nightmares during our sleep. Both children and adults experience nightmares and this triggers unwanted emotions such as anxiety and fear. Some of the common reasons why we experience nightmares are trauma, medication, drugs, stress, etc. Lucid dreaming Usually people do not have control over their dreams. Lucid dreaming is said to be a state in which you realize that you are actually dreaming and gain some control over it. The control of dream varies per lucid dream and it usually occurs in the middle of a dream. People often experience lucid dreaming randomly but then there are people who with the help of certain techniques and methods induce lucid dreaming more frequently and gain control over their dreams. False awakening. I remember getting trapped in a false awakening cycle and getting really annoyed with it. False awakening is a state in which you dream of waking up but you usually remain asleep. There are times when people wake up many times before finally waking up into the state of consciousness. False awakening can sometimes act like a cue for lucid dreaming. Sleep paralysis. Sleep paralysis is a very common disorder. It occurs before someone falls asleep or before they wake up. During sleep paralysis, a person is aware but they cannot move or speak. People often hallucinate in this state where they hear, feel or see things that are not actually there. It is said to be a very frightening experience. Sleep paralysis is believed to occur due to sleep deprivation or sleep related disorders like narcolepsy, medication or change in the sleep schedule. So far, there has been no cure for sleep paralysis. However, it is believed that if you maintain a sleep schedule and practice techniques to calm yourself, you can reduce the chances of its occurrence. 
Dreams have always been a topic of fascination and interest. Many people love to talk about their dreams if they manage to remember them. Although most of your dream is forgotten by the time you wake up, the reasons for why this happens is still not precise. However, here are a few tips to remember your dream. Wake up naturally instead of waking up to an alarm clock. I know this would be difficult if you're working during the day time, but if you maintain a regular sleep schedule, your body's inner alarm will be trained to this effect. Try to focus and recollect your dreams as much as possible when you wake up. Write down whatever you remember. A large part of what dreaming is still remains a mystery and scientists are trying their best to resolve it. Dreaming is an important part of a healthy sleep and it also helps us understand many aspects of our mind. I hope you found this video useful. Make sure to check out the videos that I'll be covering later as this is just the first video of the video series. If you like this video, please click on the like button and if you want to see similar videos and you're not yet a subscriber, then do subscribe. If you want to talk to me about anything regarding this video or if you have to ask me about anything, then feel free to leave a comment below or you can also contact me at my email address.